Well, I just arrived back home and my plasma burner was waiting for me. I want to cook it up and make sure it works. It's interesting to me, and I found this with a lot of stuff you buy nowadays. It'll say in the owner's manual to unpack the box and make sure that everything is uh, included um, in accordance with the packing list and there is no packing list. It, it also has uh, instructions uh, which aren't really instructions. They don't tell you the simplest things. For example, you know you have to hook the air compressor up to this thing for it to work. It doesn't say a thing about where to hook the air compressor line in at or anything like that. Uh, which is, I just find it's kind of uh, interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook it up anyway because I'm I'm smart enough to figure it out based on what I'm looking at here. I think I got it about hooked up right. Uh, has the uh, uh, air compressor line that goes into the back of this gizmo, comes out of here, goes down to there. There's a gauge on here. Uh, first time I hooked this up, everything leaked. Okay, I'll bring you back to see this here. Uh, when I first, this thing lifts up and down, and when you lift it up, you can actually adjust the pressure up and down. It's supposed to be between about 65 uh, 40 to 65 pounds so I'm gonna set that right up there about 65 or 70 pounds and then we'll try doing a little cut with that the other thing I'll say is it's a little bit dangerous here but I'm, I'm cutting back here in this wooden shed but I put this metal panel underneath there to catch all the sparks if I get a fire I'll uh, I got a fire extinguisher nearby but this thing doesn't make a whole lot of fire so it's not like welding so I'm gonna try cutting it with that and uh, if we all go up and smoke, then it uh, been nice knowing y'all. I'll be the first one to admit that I don't know what I'm doing with this uh, new toy that I've got here. I did manage to get a, a hole cut in there. It looks a, a little bit better than it would have looked if I'd have knotted it out with my teeth, but not a whole lot. There's a second piece of metal up under here. I'm having trouble getting this thing to fire and keep firing. Um, it'll fire and blow a hole and then kind of go out. I haven't a clue really how to use this thing. In fact, if anybody out there really is good at using a, uh, a plasma burner, feel free to instruct me. Thank you. I turned the air compressor off a while ago and I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and try shooting a little bit more of a hole here and see what happens. I forgot that I turned off the air compressor and it worked better. What that's telling me is it's probably um, too much air. You know, probably the air is blowing the fire out. So I just have adjusted. I got the air compressor running. I'm sure you can hear that. And I adjusted the, uh, the gauge on it so that there's a little bit less air pressure coming through there. And uh, I'll try it again. amazing that even after all that cutting it's isn't even hot that's a that's an amazing piece of equipment can't wait to learn how to use it <laughs>